Well, good morning from camp. This is Outdoors for Adventure. And we are set up on Wright Patman Lake at Piney Point Campground. Foggy morning this morning. This is the campground. Quite a few empty spots. It was really quiet last night. And you see the lake. Normally you see the lake through there, but right now it's so foggy, it's just fog. And we are on a huge campsite. We do have a big hill all the way around us. Kind of feels like we're on a little bit of a peninsula. We heard two trees fall back in the woods here yesterday. There's another nice campsite right across the street. Nice and big. There's our campsite. So let's get up in the 90s today. Not a real big camp uh, area, but it's pretty nice. I don't know if you can see it, but back over that way is the restrooms. I've actually got our Wolf Wise Shire tent set up back here. Little decor. Yeah, we've been having a great day yesterday and cooked up some ribs. I've been using the Vector power station to charge our phones and stuff, even though I could plug it into the camper. I just kind of wanted to test out that power station and man, it's so nice. The thing about this pop-up is where the USB plugs are mounted in the walls some of them are not very friendly and with that power station i plugged it in and i just set it on the table and you can charge everything on it you know you can just lay your phone on top of it and then you've got several plugs with usb ports and you know it just makes things all in one spot and you're not leaning over trying to plug stuff in but more on that later Right now, I was just wanting to kind of show you all the camp area. You've got a choice of Piney Point right here. You can go on down the road and go to Rocky Point. When we was checking the area out to see which spot we wanted, because, you know, we live close. Uh, right over in here right up the road right through there there was like six deer and I thought well we'll probably see deer while we're here but so far we haven't seen any deer and out of all the camping spots you know most people those are lakeside down there and you can tell most people they want to be lakeside view but i chose this one because it's huge and it's away from everybody now if you're camping with a friend this is site number one get site number one and then i think that over there is 45 and you just walk across the street and visit each other but anyway i'm gonna go back in and finish our coffee and we'll talk at you later.
Okay guys, I've got the Joy Tudis SUV tent hooked back up to add a little more shade and work area to our setup. And you see I've got the canopy on the pop-up pulled out. And I just backed the Jeep up to the canopy and one pole I literally just fastened to the pole of the canopy. And the other one since I'm on concrete here, I just just tied it to the steps of the camper. It's not in the way. And if I want to take it down real quick, all I gotta do is pop the ropes off the top on both sides, and that goes down. No big deal. You see the big ice co in there, but I can get up in here, shady, and I can get in my refrigerator, and then I can cook over here on the grill or whatever. I can put the grill on that side, or I can flip it around and set it over here which i might do that way it gives me more concrete room here and uh cook and just it's a lot more space i don't have things kind of organized right now but i just wanted to show you the joy tutus 10 again i have a video on setup that i've done earlier and we had it uh kind of like this in a different campground but it's just a nice cool area to work in and uh, as you can see I have a mosquito net up here tied up you can let that down and keep the bugs out and uh, if you're using it to camp in you know you climb up in there and sleep whatever you're doing but most time I'm using mine for like a kitchen okay I rearranged a little bit underneath there all kinds of options uh, one thing I want you to notice is this, I've got the Joy Tutus tent over the vehicle. And I like how it goes over the top of my rack to keep the sun from beating down off the top of the vehicle. And I've also got the Joy Tutus sunshade inside to keep the sun off the windshield. So there's two products right there from Joy Tutus. Appreciate them sending them to me. Y'all need to be sure to go check out the link links and pick up yours.
Well, guys, we made it to a stormy night. About three, four hours of rain, thunder, and lightning. Everything's nice and wet now. It rained pretty good. Campground's quiet, other than the birds and critters. Got coffee making inside. The pop-up made it to all the rain just fine. No issues whatsoever with this thing. Pretty happy with it. I've already packed up most of the stuff we had outside because I knew the rain was coming. So when we get ready to go today, which is checkout day, it's not going to take us long at all to tear down and head home. Had a great time this weekend. We pretty much hung out at the campsite most of the weekend. Join the pop-up. Really enjoyed having the air conditioner. Got up in the 90s this weekend. And I never took the pop-up AC out of low. It ran on low when it got hot. And a lot of times we just used the vent let the fresh air come through. And that's one good thing about these pop-ups is those big windows. You can see a lot when you got them opened up. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get some coffee. Probably not gonna record a whole lot today. But just kind of showing you the morning campground for Sunday. Not many people up and about, nice and quiet. Let's go get some coffee.